What's good team? Welcome to another Small James Coding tutorial where today we're going to be talking about the optimal way to load images in your React project so that you can prevent any false loads or laggy image renders. Here's an example, if I refresh this page, the page loads and then we get that blank space where there's no image before the image renders and we're going to resolve this using a technology known as blur hash and implement it inside of our React code just here so that we get the ultimate image loading experience. So here's a quick demo of the resolved issue using the blurred hash loading state. If I refresh this page, I've throttled my network to a fast 3G. So we get a really slow page load. It means our images would typically take ages to load. Instead, we get that nice temporary loading state and then we bring in the images and it looks spot on. So it's overall a much better user experience and it's great for continued engagement with your website. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and sub and let's get into it. So here we have a really simple React project. Essentially, we have our main function app. We have an image source, which is the URL for these images just here from Unsplash. And as for our JSX, we have our app and then inside we have three versions of our image component and each of them just receive the image source as a prop. And if we come over to the image component, we can see that we just have a very simple React component. We receive the source or the URL as a prop, and then we just return an image where the source is equal to the source. So we render that image. So essentially we're just rendering this image three times and currently it's giving us that laggy load that is just not nice, but fortunately we can totally avoid it. So the first thing we're going to do is install the blur hash package. And so we can just type npm install react dash blur hash, just like that. And we're also going to install the blur hash package itself. Now that both of those are installed, we can start up our project again. You can see that we still get that slow loading state, that empty state. And we're going to come over to our image component just here. And the first thing we're going to have to do is import use state and use effect into this component and after we've imported use state and use effect we're going to come up here and define a image loading state so we'll say image loaded and set image loaded is equal to use state and we'll pass in false as the default value we're also going to have to import blur hash from react blur hash and now what we can do is call use effect open that up just like that, pass in the image source that we receive as the dependency for our use effect. And in here, we're going to say const image is equal to new image. We'll say image.onload is equal to an arrow function. And that's just going to say set image loaded to true. So we're just creating an event handler for the onload of the image. And then finally, we're just going to say image.source is equal to the source that we received at the top of the page. So this is going to handle the loading state of our actual image. And all we're going to do in here in our JSX is we're going to create some React fragments and we're going to have some conditional rendering. So we're going to use the curly parentheses and we're going to say if not image loaded. So if the image has not loaded yet, then what we're going to do is render out a blur hash component. In here, this is going to receive a hash, which we haven't created yet, but we will shortly. It's going to take a width, which is going to be equal to 100%. Likewise, for the height, we're going to take a resolution X is equal to 32. Same for the Y, these are just the default values. And finally, a punch, which is kind of like contrast of equal to one. That's also just default. After that, we'll close that component. So that's going to be our blur hash. We're going to have to make our hash for these images in just a second. And after that, what we're going to do is wrap our image component inside of some curly parentheses. And we're going to say image loaded and image. So if the image loaded is true, then we can render out our image and not our blur hash. So now that we have this logic implemented, currently our blur hash is not going to do anything because we haven't got the hash. But if we come over to this blur hash site just here, the link for the site will be in the description down below. We're going to come to our image quickly, download it onto our local device. We're going to click upload, then we'll upload it into the site. It's going to give us this blur hash string, super simple, just that quick. And that is going to be the blur hash that we load into our page. So if we save that and come over to our component and refresh this page, and that didn't immediately work for two reasons. The first one is that the width and height are actually meant to be integer values. So I've just set them to 200. And then the second thing is, is that that is meant to be a lowercase on load. 
And now you can see that if I refresh that page, we get that slight loading state. And if I come into the network tab and throttle that to a fast 3G, we see that virtually on the page load, we get that blur hash image and then the actual image loads in. So if we just do that once more, virtually on page load, we have the actual image and then it just swaps them out. So it's a much cleaner loading state than just having an empty blank space there and will really help the user just to hang around and be patient while the images load because they get like some preconception of what is coming. The blur hash matches the style of the original image. If I just set this blur hash here to true, we can see that the blur hash is kind of in the same vein as the actual image itself. So that's all hunky dory. And it's definitely just something that I would recommend incorporating into any project you have. Make sure that if you have any images loading, don't let them lag into your page render and have some blank spaces where they're going to fill out or have your content jumping around. Render out a blur hash, it's instantaneous, and then on loading of the image, swap out the actual image. And we're actually just gonna sneak in one last little change. We notice that we're actually still loading the image twice. And the solution to that is actually just to replace this with a div that is going to wrap the blur hash. And instead of using this conditional logic, we want to make sure that both are rendered at the same time. And we're just going to give this a style equals to display. And we're going to run a conditional check on image loaded. If the image is loaded, then we're going to say a display of none. Otherwise we want inline. And we're just going to do the exact same thing on our image, except we're gonna invert the thing invert the uh, boolean variable so now when i go ahead and reload this page once more we do in fact get the perfect temporary loading with no glitches and we only render the image twice that's the most important thing we only network request to splash once and the image is loaded anyway that's the whole video make sure that you incorporate this technology into your own projects it makes your image loads look absolutely brilliant and it's really good for user engagement too. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.